I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with our fighting Pokemon tier list here, guys. Um, obviously, if you guys checked out my tier, my, not really a tier list, but my favorites list from last week, it was the top 25 favorite wrestlers of all time. So I was thinking, okay, what can I do the following week? What can I do that kind of relates to that a little bit? Well, fighting Pokemon, they fight, they wrestle, hey, here we are. So... Um, we're going to go over the fighting tier list. Of course, we have the uh, listening to Arceus, which is the god tier, top of the top, cream of the crop. Amazing, great, not so good. Good, I, those got mixed up somehow. Let me just switch that. Ooh, look at that, on the fly. Good, not so good. And, of course, the Garboder, the bottom of the barrel, the gunk at the bottom of the trash can, the grossest, the worst Pokemon of all time goes in there. So, you guys know my rule of thumb. First off, I like to put a quick disclaimer. This is not about competitive viability. This is my personal likeness to the Pokemon, whether it be aesthetically or just a, a bond that I have with the Pokemon. I'll try to maybe provide a little bit additional commentary on why I rate them so high or so low. And, of course, it's just opinionated. So if I put your favorite Pokemon in the Garboder tier, hey, it's not my fault your favorite Pokemon sucks. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of course, it's all subjective. Uh, so feel free to let me know who your favorites are in the comment section below. So... Let's get started here. So right off the bat, we have Mankey. Um, and again, we're going to move some Pokemon around probably as we go, as we normally do. And also, one thing that drives me nuts, I always like to say this. One thing that drives me nuts about tier lists is when someone makes like, they'll make a tier list on something, whether it's competitive or not. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I think it's stupid. They'll have like, here's the Z plus tier and the Z tier and the SSS tier and the SS tier and the S tier and the A tier. And it's like, look, dude. That's too many fucking tiers. That drives me crazy. And not only that, what also drives me crazy is when people take half their freaking tier list and they put it in the top tier. Hey, you can't do that. This is the top of the top, baby. That's not how it works for me. So I don't like doing that. So you only see a handful of Pokemon in the Austin. I try to keep it about 10 or below. Uh, with fighting Pokemon, there aren't that many fighting Pokemon. Uh, so hopefully uh, not too many in the Arceus tier. All right, so anyways, Mankey. Back to business here. So Mankey... Uh, I like Mankey. I like all the Pokemon here, really, uh, with the exceptions of the Ultra Be or the uh, not, yeah Ultra Beasts. That's it. Almost said Ultra Beast. Ultra Beasts. Uh, that kind of tells you where they're probably gonna go. But Mankey, I'm gonna put it in the good tier for now. May move up. May move down. We'll see. Primeape. I like a little bit more than Mankey, so we'll put Primeape in that great slot. So now we have Machop, which I do like more by quite a quite a large margin actually than Mankey. I really like Machop. So I think we're going to move Machop in the great for now. Might move down. Mankey may move down. We'll see. We have Machoke. Uh, back when I was in high school, I used to slick my hair back. Um, and uh, I used to work out a bit too, so it was a bit of a... It, has, it had some good arms on me, you know, decent chest on me. People used to say that it looked like Machoke. <laughs> so uh, that's my uh, fondness to, for Machoke. I'm going to put Machoke above Primeape. Yeah, you know what? I like Machop more than Primeape 2, probably. I think we're going to do that in the Machamp, though, however. It goes into the Arceus tier. I love Machamp. One of my favorite fighting Pokemon, obviously, it's in the Arceus tier. Um, I remember back, way back in the day, we're talking when Ruby and Sapphire probably first came out. I used to be part of a community called Pokemon Net Battle. It was like an online like battling simulator, kind of like what Pokemon Showdown is today. In fact, Smogon was around back then as well. Smogon's been around for a long time. Um, but I used to use Machamp on my team. I always loved using Machamp. I was still like flamethrower on them or fire blast to really uh, throw off people, take out scissors and stuff. It was, it was a lot of fun. But um, ah, net battle. Those are the days, man. Smogon used to have like a like a text based RPG, and then I was also a uh, a an admin of another like RPG. It was for just gold, silver, and crystal. It was a gold, silver, crystal specific server. Anyways, off topic. Those were the days. I was like 12 years old. What a, what a fun life that was. All right, so now we have um, Gigantamax Machamp. I do like Gigantamax Machamp, but for the sake of keeping this a somewhat clear, because there's going to be some Pokemon moving up, and I don't want to look like I have 80 things here. <sighs> we'll leave it up there for now, but it might move it down just to make this look better. 
Galarian Farfetch. I actually really like Galarian Farfetch. I like Farfetch in general, really. Um, I think it's a really cool design. He's almost like a samurai. Um, I think it's really cool. I'm going to put it... Who am I going to put in the great tier? Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, both deserving of amazing tier. 100%. Probably hit my channel for Hitmonlee, but I love both to death. Galarian Zapdos. I remember when they first announced um, Sword and Shield, and I made some videos talking about it. Um, and then, and as we were uh, playing through some, you know, some other games, like I think it was Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, and I was just I kind of talking about it as we we're going through dungeons. I specifically said that it would be cool if they gave like Galarian forms to the legendary birds or the legendary dogs. And here we are. I called it. I predicted it. Now, I'm sure a lot of people have said that. I'm not the only one. But I love uh, Galarian Zapdos a lot, actually. Um, if I would have to do like a, like a tier list of the three of the Galarian birds, which I won't because that's, that's way too small. But let's say I would go uh, Galarian Moltres, Galarian Zapdos, and then Galarian Articuno. But then if you talk about the original Cantonian birds, Articuno way up here, by the way. Moltres than Zapdos. So, very, very, very different list. Anyways, uh, Zapdos is going up top um, ahead of the gi 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 Gigantamax Machamp. Gigantamax Machamp might move down just so we can save uh, some space up here. Heracross, I'm a big fan of. I'm a big fan of Heracross. But where am I going to put Heracross? I almost want to put him in Amazing, but I don't know if I quite like Heracross more than Machoke or Machop. Uh, Honestly, I'm going to put him right about here. Machoke might move up. We'll see how things go. Uh, Mega Heracross can go right next to it. That's fine with me. Tyrogue. I have a soft spot for Tyrogue. One of my favorite baby Pokemon. Um, Great's getting kind of crowded right now, but that's fine. we still got a lot of Pokemon to go through. We'll move things around and kind of balance it out a little bit. But for now, we're going to put Tyrogue in great. In front of Primeape. Primeape might move down to good. Hitmontop. I'm not crazy about Hitmontop. It's fine. But when you compare it to Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, even Tyrogue, in my opinion, it doesn't even compare. I'm going to put not so good. For now. We'll see how things go. Mukuhita can also go to not so good. And then Hariyama. I'm just not crazy of the design, really. And Hariyama, though, I do like. Um, but I do like it less than Primeape. Probably less than Mankey, too, to be honest. So we're going to put it right there. That's probably my Gen 1 uh, goggles on, but it is what it is. <laughs> Metatite. Ain't going not so good for now. Probably higher than Makuhita. Metacham could go in good. Higher than Haruyama. Hi higher than Mankey. And then we'll put Mega Metacham along with it. Just a slight, slightly ahead. Uh, Riolu I like quite a bit. We're going to put Riolu here above you, but behind Tyrogue, I think. But we're going to put Lucario in the Arceus tier along with Mega. See, this is why I hate having all these Megas and Gigantamax in here. It makes this look so crowded. Um, but yeah, we're going to go probably... I do like Mega Lucario quite a bit, though. We'll probably go like that for now. Um, Krogunk and Toxicroak, I like both of these actually quite a bit. Um, I'm going to go Krogunk in the good. Ahead of Hariyama, behind Mankey. Toxicroak can go in great above Primeape. In fact, I think I'm moving Primeape down. We're making that decision now. Primeape's moving to the top of good. Might move back up. We'll see how things go. But that's where it's going for now. Arceus, I mean, that's going to the Arceus tier, isn't it? Um, I'm not crazy about RCs. I think I mentioned this before. I'm just going to stick them in the good. Uh, probably top of good for now. Uh, Timber, Girder, and Conkelder. Um, I don't mind them. You know, I don't hate them. But I'm not crazy about this evolution, uh, evolution line, to be honest. Um, I'm going to put Timber in good. Probably at the bottom. Girder, I think, is pretty freaking ugly. So we're going to put in not so good above uh, Makuhita. Conkelder I think is a bit cooler, but still kind of ugly. Which is fine and all that. Uh, we'll put it ahead of Timber and good. And it might move down, we'll see. Throw, excuse me, Throw and Sock, I've never been crazy about these two. 
They're going the garbage order, uh, bin. Uh, Scraggy and Scrafty. Scraggy, I'm not crazy about. I like Mukohita more. Same with Scrafty. Not crazy about these two. They may move down. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of these two. Uh, Mian Fu and Min Xiao. I like Min Xiao quite a bit. Probably behind Primeape. Yeah. And then me and Fu, we're going to put in... Even though I do like it, we just got to... You know, I just don't like it more than him on top. Right? So that's where it's going to stick for now. Cobellion. Um... Ah, man. I think it goes in great, but I like I like I think I like Toxicroak more. Terekian, however, looks pretty damn cool. Probably my favorite of the th of the four. Well, not of the four of the three. I like Keldeo probably the most out of all all of them of the uh, Justice uh, trio or quartet. Um, honestly, probably there Verizian could go in the great as well, just below Cobellion. Keldeo can go in Amazing, but behind him on uh, Chain him on Lee. Meloetta, not a fan. Could go top of Garbodor. Love Pancham. Pancham is cute as fuck. And I like Pangoro quite a bit as well. Pangoro can go straight in Amazing. Uh, Pancham. <sighs> Put it above Minky. Put it above Minky. Um, I kind of, I'm not going to lie to you. So we're switching some of this stuff around now because I like him on top more than like Kelder. But I think I'm moving these two down. Halucha. I love Halucha. Halucha goes in amazing tier right about here. I love Halucha. Uh, Crab Brawler and Crab Abominable. I actually like these two a decent amount. But how much do I like them? I'm going to put Crab Brawler in good. I think I'm going to stick both in good, actually. <sighs> Possibly at the bottom. How's the tier list looking on the OBS? It's looking fine. Just making sure nothing looks uh, like you can't see everything. Uh, Stuffle and Beware. Not crazy about these two, honestly. Uh, probably stick them at the bottom of the Garbodor tier, to be honest. I don't hate them, by any means. I just... If I have like if if I'm catching Pokemon and I'm using them in a, in, a, in a playthrough, I'm probably not using these guys. Pasimian I like quite a bit. We'll put Pasimian. In good. Probably ahead of Medicham, but behind me and Shao. Well, put above me and Shao. Silvali, I'm not crazy about Silvali. I know some people love this. This is not a legendary Pokemon. I don't care. There are people that will swear up and down that this thing is a legendary Pokemon. Eh, eh. Not in my book. Not in my book. Not so good. It's not quite Garbodor because I think it does look kind of cool. But I'm not a fan of it. And I think it's... F you know, quite honestly... I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm liking that a little bit more, and I'm putting Savali behind Mokuhita. Okay, so this guy right here, um, Jigmo O, is actually not a fighting Pokemon. It's a pure dragon. So whoever made this tier list, I am going to link the tier list in the description below if you want to do it yourself, as I do in all these tier lists. But they messed up. They messed up. Uh, so then we have uh, Komo O and Hakamo. So Hakamo O. I do like this evolution line, for sure. And Jingma O um, would actually be higher than this guy, probably. Than Hakamo. This is cute, but he's not in this tier list, so I'm not going to put him in there. We're going to put you in good. Um, probably below him on top. And I'm going to put uh, Komo O. <sighs> do I want to put him in Amazing? Yeah, I kind of do. Put him in amazing. Uh, Buzzwall. So of the uh, 
of the Ultra Beasts, he's one of my like least hated ones because he looks <laughs> he looks kind of funny to me. But he's still gonna go in the not so good because an Ultra Beast, and I cannot stand Ultra Beast. I don't like them. So we're gonna put him. Here. No, here. However, uh, Famona, is that her name? Formosa. Formosa. I always forget her name, so I had to write it down. Formosa. Very bottom. Very bottom of the list. So, now we have Clobopus, which I do think is cute. But, you know, compared to some of these other Pokemon, it's probably near the bottom. Um, probably here. Now, Graplocked. Huge fan. Huge fan of Grab Locked. I'm going to put him... Arceus tier. I think so. I think so. Uh, Surf Fetched, I do like quite a bit. We're going to put it in the great tier. And we're going to put it behind Riolu, I think. Um, Phalanx, I like quite a bit. We're going to throw that in the amazing tier. I really like Phalanx, actually. And I really like shiny Phalanx. I have one on, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, Zamazenta, I do like. I don't think it's quite RC's tier for me, personally. But it definitely belongs in the amazing tier. Um, we're going to put it... Yeah, we'll put them right below Keldeo. Then we have Cub Fu, which I like a lot, actually. Cub Fu's very cute. Um, Cub Fu. Top of great. Top of great. And then Urshifu is going to go in Arceus here, but here's the problem. There's freaking four of them that's going into my Arceus here, and I hate that so much. Because really, this is just one Pokemon. I'm not putting both forms in there. There's no, there's no fucking point. But I'll put the Gigantamaxes in there. And we're going to put you here, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's about right. It's about right. And really, three of them are Gigantamaxes. I could take those out, honestly. Um, it looks good. Looks good. Let's go over the list here and make sure we don't want to move anything around. Let me take a quick swig. Of Pepsi there. Alright. So, am I okay with the way this list looks? Good usually, good and great usually have the most Pokemon in them, right? Because that's kind of like the, you know, like, this is the B tier, this is the C tier, right? Like, these are the, like, the average kind of Pokemon. These are, like, the above average, right? Amazing, like, A, you know, like, oh my god, these are, you know, amazing Pokemon. These are the top of the top. Bottom of the barrel... I almost want to move these two down, but I think they're fine where they're at. Um, I don't think I need to move Minfu up. I think everything here is fine. How do I feel about the great list here? Feeling pretty great about it, actually. And I do like Heracross more than Mega Heracross. That's why I have it in that order. Phalanx. Yeah, yep. Everything's looking good there. And then, of course, Graplock. Big fan. That's my tier list, guys. Fighting Pokemon tier list. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys... Uh, if I put any of your favorite Pokemon in a bad spot. Um, you know, Do you disagree with some of uh, the Pokemon in my Arceus tier? Do you think there's some Pokemon that deserve it? Do you guys think that, you know, Beware deserves to be in the Arceus tier? Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think my hate for Ultra Beast is warranted? Let me know. Um, anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, let's see. Last week was WWE, um, well, not WWE specifically, but um, top 25 favorite wrestlers of all time. And there are some from other, uh, you know, there were some from other companies like New Japan, uh, Pro Wrestling, some that are wrestling AEW today. Some of them I've been watching since the Ring of Honor days, PWG days, etc., etc. So, at the end of these, I'd like to tell you what's coming up next week. So, next week, tier list will be a short one. It's going to be a short one. But it is the Evolutions. Now, I know that that's a very short list. But if I'm someone making these Pokemon tier lists, and I'm doing pretty much anything you could think of Pokemon related, I do think having that Evolution list, uh, tier list is important to have. So we're going to do that. In fact, I'm probably going to record that after this. 
uh, to get it out of the way. Um, eh, maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait and do that uh, when I record the other tier list. I got to record. But uh, but yeah. So next week's evolutions, and then I'll see you guys again um, after that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And next time I have the Mavermart Daniels. I'm being your farewell peace and one love. Bye.